Hey guys, so if you do GPU mining or crypto mining or whatever, you might have uh, RTX A4000 cards and you'll know if you do have these that they run hot and that's because the cooler sucks. It's a one single slot. It's uh, basically a, a RTX 3070 class card with, you know, 16 gigs of RAM. These are running way too hot, so end up getting these uh, RTX A4000 coolers, which I think they're just like a modified gigabyte <laughs> card cooler. And but these are these are made to work with these cards, and I've already uh, installed uh, two of them, and they do in fact work fantastically. Uh, the temps came down 20 at least 20 degrees on the GPU and at least 10 degrees on the memory. So anyways, um, we're gonna install one on this. First off, get you a good, not a cheap ass precision uh, screwdriver. Get you a good one. This is a Klein, uh, I think it's like 20 bucks at Home Depot. And it's gonna be a T6. And the reason why I say get a good one is because I had a cheapo one, you know, like one that you get off Amazon or something like that, and which it it worked fine for many different uh, things, but I uh, I stripped one of the screws on one of the other cards. Let me tell you, that was really nerve wracking because I had to drill the screw out these tiny tiny little screws look at all these little components everywhere I had to I had to put tape all around this masking tape to keep it, uh, from damaging this and I literally had to just go super slow and concentrate and focus on drilling that screw head out it was nerve-wracking but I did it okay so you don't want to go through that you don't want the, uh, that stress <laughs> get get a good tool don't get the crappy one. All right. So, well, first off, let's re you first remove this thing. Let's find a a uh, bit that fits the top. So these are little micro Phillips screws. So, and look at this tool. It's so nice. You got all the bits in there. This is a good quality tool. All right, check it out. And then you lift that up. And we won't be using this afterwards. Although, you know, you still do get to use this fan right here because it comes with a little splitter cable to run the fan on the heat sink and to run this fan. I kind of wondered if I should, you know, cut out a piece of plastic or something that's half, you know, half here. So I still put it over this end part so that the fan forces air across. But uh, I might do, do that later and experiment and see if that makes any difference all right so there's the uh, uh little heat sink the original one it's it's puny uh let's let's swap the bits out here and uh what did i do with my t6 bit okay what oh it's right here Yeah, like I said, you don't want to deal with stripping these little guys out. Oh, it was horrible. And it's magnetic. Luckily, um, the kit came with new screws. So <laughs> I had uh, new screws to put back in there after I stripped that one out. I'm telling you, it was nerve-wracking. 
you don't want to have to do that kind of surgery. <laughs> Plus you got little metal shavings that are going all over. And you, you really have to blow it out with a compressor. And hope that you got them all. Alright, so here we go. So uh, first off, look at that, how clogged that is, up that is. Look at this tiny little wimpy old thing come on nvidia are you serious you know you want this not this i don't know what they were thinking uh quite silly um but yeah that was i mean more like 75 percent clogged the other ones i took off one of them was completely clogged you know uh, of course you can blow this out like you know, once a week or something like that, but that's pain in the butt. And still, it still sucks. It's not a good heat sink. So, first off, I'm gonna blow this out. Okay, and then we need to clean up the GPU, and uh, get some alcohol prep pads. Um, you want to be super, there's like some little resistors and capacitors on this GPU. You don't want to like knock those off, so be uh, incredibly careful. Um, this thing has a little bit of a over lap of uh, thermal paste. I think it's actually like a thermal pad. So I'm going to kind of clean that out a little bit. Don't knock off any of these components that are on here. And really, you know, if it feels like it's just too risky, don't do it. Just leave it. Leave it on the sides. It doesn't matter. You just want to get the top cleaned. You know, if it feels like you know it's stuck on the side too much it's, you know don't worry about it just get the top clean so I'm going to just start off with a dry paper towel just to kind of get the clumps like that see yeah, most of it off. Now I'm going to clean it up real good with an alcohol prep pad. Okay. And then once you clean it with a prep pad, you're going to want to blow it. Because anything you touch to this might leave little fibers. And, um, well, you don't want the, any kind of fibers or dirt or anything on it because it's going to get in between there and not allow this to make a good uh, contact. So next up, what you want to do is pull this little fan connector out. So that's the original fan. And you're going to install the splitter this and uh, I get I've been doing it this way the black one I've been connecting to the original fan I'm not sure if that's a hundred percent correct but it's working fine I do notice that uh, the max speed that, that uh, gets reported with a new fan on is like 80, 80 or 82 or something like that. You know, maybe it, you know, maybe if this was reversed, 
because this other one has the uh, RPM sensor on it. Maybe that would be more correct. I don't know, but I've been doing it this way and it's fine. And I don't, it doesn't bother anything. All right, so the uh, next thing you want is some good thermal paste. I've just been using this uh, TM30 from uh, Thermal from Corsair. And uh, I don't know, some people might say that's too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. You know what I'm saying? So a good pea size amount. I want to make sure it squishes out. I'm actually going to just do a little bit more just because. Uh, I don't care if it squeezes out the side. Uh, this stuff is non-conductive. So it's not going to short anything out. And then uh, now we're going to put this on. Uh, take these little plastic thingies off. Uh, take this one off. And uh, yeah, so this, these right here contact this metal plate here, which is where the memory is at. So that's why you get it, you know, another 10 degrees off your memory because not only is it contacting the GPU, but you're contacting the, the memory heat spreader plate too. So you get some thermal contact. Uh, on the on the first one I did I didn't do this on the second one I put some thermal paste here but it didn't really seem like it made any difference so I'm just not gonna do it okay um, so yeah here we go make sure the wires are up out of the way and line up the holes Yeah. Now, let's put the original uh, little spring plate back on. Make sure to not knock off any components. And this is real cool. You don't want to like accidentally slip and scrape components off this board is that's going to be just devastating oh see how i just slipped but luckily i didn't knock anything off okay Feels pretty good. Now, just hook up the fan to this other part of the splitter. There we go. And take this, tuck it in, like so. And then take that one, tuck it in there. Bam. All complete. Check that out. It looks kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but who cares? It's going to, uh, you know, it's, you're going to drop uh, 20 degrees. Uh, so uh, let's go install it, and then uh, we'll see what the difference in temps are. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, I told you I already had installed the uh, on two. And then I'm gonna actually end up spacing these out a little bit more. But for now it's fine. Uh, so let's slap this other guy in. <clears throat> let's see. Let's power it up. Uh, 
There are running. I think I've got a. Oh yeah, I think I've got a fan going out here. Um. Yeah. So <sighs> these were something we were waiting for to come in, uh, so we could control the heat. Yeah, there's a big fan up here. There's no climate control, and well, I didn't want to put any climate control because you know we're doing solar and uh, battery, and well, AC would just you know cost us more money to run and use up all our solar so um, anyways let's go inside and see what our temps look like okay so this is a uh, this is the screen uh, right before I turn the unit off so you can see that top one where it shows um, 80 degrees and 96 on the memory and this actually will get higher. Like I've seen it up up to 89 in the peak of the heat. And so the other two cards that I already had that I I put the the uh, the heat the new heat sinks on uh, 60 and 55. Now the 55 is the one on the end that has real good airflow. So that's why I'm saying I want to spread them out a little bit so they have better airflow in between. But like you know 55, 84 on the memory, 60. On the core, 88 on the memory. That's awesome. And these are outside in like 105 degree heat, you know, here in Texas. Uh, well, they're outside in a shed that has no AC. But yeah, this is what it was prior to the uh, heat, new heat sink. So 80 and 96 on the memory. I've seen it peak up to like 89 and like 100, like well over 100 on the memory. So uh, let's uh, reconnect and see what we've got now. Restart session. Oh yeah. Let's look at the minor. Yeah. So we got 55 on the card on the outside that's getting super good airflow. Uh, 58 and the, uh, uh, on the end card. Uh, these are a little bit out of order and 59 on the card that's that we just put in and this is the card smack down in the, in, in the middle of two hot gpus so 59 is pretty e expected but still we're uh 20 degrees lower than uh the stock which is fantastic uh so now i f feel like these cards are safe to run this way and then i'm going to end up putting three more in there and uh, so there you go so like if you have these RTX A4000s with the sucky coolers you have an option that works very very well and uh, I'll put a link to where I got them at I think they're like 60 something dollars a piece they get shipped from China so you're gonna have to wait you know 15 days it actually came pretty quick I think it was about 15 days but um, there you have it catch you on the next video